As you know that push button used in electrical circuit are normally of two types. First one is anode push button and second is NC push button. Now where and how you have to use these two push buttons? Let's understand this. So here I am taking a simple lamp. You must have know about connection of the lamp. To glow this lamp, you need to provide phase supply and neutral supply. For this, what am I going to do? This push button here. After pressing this push button, I will try to glow this bulb. For this, we need a power supply. For power supply, I use the symbol of battery. In this battery I have here, with the positive terminal, connect one wire and provide input power supply to push button. Here you can see that wire is not complete here. So positive power supply of battery will remain till this terminal. If you want that power supply of this point should reach at this point, then you have to press this push button. Right now I am not pressing this, later we will press it and check it. For now I need to complete this circuit. To complete this circuit, what we will do in this push button with this second terminal, connect one wire and to this lamp here, provide positive power supply to this lamp. Now we need to provide negative power supply to this lamp. For this, what we will do with negative terminal of bulb, connect one wire and with negative terminal of power source, connect this wire. After this much connection, if you press this push button, then your bulb starts glowing. You can see by pressing this push button, power supply is flowing forward to this bulb. If I release this, push button goes again to normal position. If you don't know, then I am telling you, there is a spring inside the push button. What it will do is, if you press the push button and then if you release it, then it will go to its normal position. So what is happening when we use NO push button? When we press the push button, lamp is turning on. On releasing push button, lamp is turning off. To any bulb or circuit, if you want to provide power supply when you are pressing push button, then there you have to use NO push button. I think this concept is clear to you now. Now let's move forward. Now I am using one more bulb here. To glow this bulb, I am using NC push button. You can see the symbol of NC push button. Here circuit is complete. You can see in NO push button, there is break in circuit. But here circuit is complete. Power is supplied to NC push button from here. Now what we have to do, this other terminal of this push button, connect a wire from this terminal and provide positive power supply to bulb. To glow this bulb, provide negative power supply from here. What will happen in this circuit, let's understand. I am turning on the power supply. After turning on power supply, you can see this bulb is glowing. And this one is off. This one is glowing because circuit is complete here. And due to break in circuit here, this bulb is not glowing. This means you can say that even when push button is not operated and you want power supply to still flow, then you will use NC push button there. Now here if you press NC push button, then you can see our bulb is turned off. On releasing this push button, lamp again turned on. So till now you understood that if you want to provide power supply to bulb after pressing push button, then you have to use NO push button there. And if you want that power supply must flow always, but when you press push button, circuit will break, then you have to use NC push button there. Now as you know friends, in electrical circuit, we don't use push button to glow any bulb. Just to explain you, I used this bulb here. If you are going to use push button in electrical circuit, then there you will find contactor. Connection of contactor will be done in same manner as we did the connection of bulb. Like to glow the bulb, you need to provide phase supply and neutral supply. Similarly, to operate the contactor, phase supply is to be provided at A1 terminal and neutral power supply at A2 terminal. Now here, how you will provide power supply to contactor, that will depend on the logic you are using. That is, how you want to provide power supply to contactor. Now after pressing this push button, what will be its effect on contactor? If you want to learn this, then please let me know in the comment section, so that I can make next part of this video. Ok then, let's finish this video here. If you like this video, then please do comment on this video and please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.